If I'm looking to get a P-Lock as a debt weapon, what credit score should be at before applying? I've got a playlist on my YouTube channel, literally all about the line of credit. Check it out. I've got tons of videos about the P-Locks, the HELOCs, the credit cards, the all-in-one loans, plenty of videos. Go back, watch them. There is no one credit score that will get you in the gate. So it's not just the one thing. It's a multitude of many things that we have to put together. And the most ideal way to approach it is to start researching the local banks and credit unions in your area. And you want to get the qualifications directly from the source, the bank. You ask them. You don't ask me, the finance geek. You ask them, the bank. What is the credit score required to, to obtain this personal line of credit, this HELOC, this credit card, this all in one loan, right? That's simple. What's the credit limit offer? You know, what's the relationship needed? What's the DTI needed? You know, what income do you like to see? How much debt percentage? What's the credit score? What's the this? What's the that? Ask them, the banks, not the finance geek. What I do is I'm giving you the questions, the parameters, the steps, all the, the, the information to remove all the guessing work, my friend. When it comes to velocity banking, I'm removing all of the guessing work, giving you the formulas, the fundamentals, the rules, the strategy, remove all the guessing work, and then we're just left with facts, and then it's odds of approval. Well, because I have 100% of the facts, my odds of approval are, say, 95%. If I only have 50% of the facts, well, then my odds of approval are maybe 45%, maybe 60%. Does that make sense? So I, I, there, there is no right credit score. Ideally, I want to be above 700 or more. But even that, again, there's banks that'll prove at 650, 680, 620, 720, 740. So...